and guess what? We're going to talk more AI. Dan, it's just all about AI at this point, isn't it? So uh, Plus uh, is a, a platform provider, hardware and software uh, for autonomous driving. You're like, well, wait a second. We never quite uh, heard of them before. Well, that's one of the reasons we're, we're bringing this uh, to light. Um, they are actually the market leader in autonomous trucking. Now, their software is very applicable to uh, passenger cars as well. You know, you would think a, a how many tons is a, is a is a big truck, Dan, fully loaded? You, you, uh, I should know this. this. I don't know this, though. Anyways, it's tens of tons, likely, probably more because a car is only two tons. But anyways, um, it is in many, in many um, ways, if you can get it right for trucking, it seems like you could get it right for uh, passenger uh, vehicles. They've cut deals, big deals with big trucking companies, Aveco, um, uh, retailers, and, and things like that. But anyways, the big announcement that they had is they are going to now sell their software in, in modules. So they are splitting up the bundle. So if you are a tier one or an automaker and you just want, let's say, AV functional module or an offboard module or a vehicle integration module, you can grab those. And then what you do, right, you connect the sensors, the actuation, computing platform, and you can integrate that all together. If you're an OEM, I, I view this move as very customer centric. I'm very interesting to see, interested to see, like right now, uh, they're on the NVIDIA uh, computing platform. I think uh, they will have to, to move in the direction where they're compatible with um, Qualcomm. They're compatible with Intel. And by the way, uh, check out, you know, Intel just threw um, their hat back in the ring, not, not to be confused uh, with Mobileye. Uh, read the white paper on our website if you want more on that. Um, and, and obviously, AMD has aspirations uh, a, as well. And by the way, Intel would be an interesting partner because if you remember our interview with Jack Wiest, uh, he talked about uh, wanting to collaborate with other ADAS uh, software suppliers. It almost seems like a, a perfect uh, combination. So there were no customers uh, listed in, in the press release, uh, I had the chance to talk with Plus CEO David Liu on it, and I'm going to be doing a, a write-up uh, shortly. But I love it, man. Customer centricity, baby. You want modules? We will give you modules. Yeah, I mean, Pat, look, um, you and I have both been pretty bullish on the Snapdragon platform for auto, and, and the reason was really the digital chassis has been all about kind of building blocks. So the original e thesis of, of Plus was a little bit more of these kinds of complete systems, turnkey. It was really twofold. It was either kind of the augmented vehicle of truck of today, or it was this net new future vehicle, but it was going to be ground up, built on their platform. Now they're basically saying, look, we've got building blocks that you can put into use and we're going to we're going to license sell. And I didn't have the conversation you had, so I'm working off the press release. But the bottom line is, is I think they needed to open this up to create a bigger TAM. It's more market. It's an opportunity to diversify who they sell to and take the IP that they've been working to build and make it available to a broader set of customers. You know, they've been out there for a while now. You and I have actually ridden in these trucks. We've experienced um the plus truck uh, in, in San, uh, San Jose. We actually drove around the, uh, you know, and so we know what they're doing. We know that they're innovating, um, but, uh, you know, I think the modularity gives them more flexibility in their go to market. It's just, and I think right now that's what they need, you know. Um, for me, it's early to see, Pat, to your point, I'd like to hear more about wins. I'd like to hear more about who's buying this and what sort of drove this, but. It's early days, so this one's a this one's a light one for me. I don't have a lot to add here. But, um, I do like to see the company continue to grow and scale. I've uh, enjoyed the interactions we've had with David. I look forward to reading your uh, your your awesome. 